Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and I am back today with another completed baby I have up for sale. I apologize for my voice. I'm getting over laryngitis. I deal with allergies so bad in the winter here in Minnesota, but especially right now because our weather is exceptionally warm for this time of the year and so my allergies are acting up worse and so I hope you guys can understand me. But this baby here is a full body silicone twin A anatomically correct baby girl. And she comes with a lot of cool stuff. Now I've kept this baby more pristine. Um, I didn't do like a scr uh, baby scratch or a stork bite or blemishes or the um, like moles or birthmarks. I kept this baby pristine. She's got all the wonderful art, though, that goes with babies. So the veining, some mottling, the blushing, the creases, the nail beds and tips. Um, she's got painted eyebrows, rooted eyelashes, um, an open mouth, all painted inside. Her lips, her suck bump, the wetness in all the right areas of the eyes going down and inside the nose, in the mouth, the lips, the ears, this beautiful belly button. And um, her fingernails and tips. And then, of course, her little girl parts has got that wetness, too. So all the right places of that. I love this baby bald. I left it bald. I own this baby. And just to let you guys know, mine is a preemie size. Mine, I don't know why, but mine came. Um, I don't know. You got your copies and your replicas. I think mine is more of like a replica. This one is still done exactly right. Um, but mine was more to the size. So mine is under five pounds and it's only 17 inches. This beautiful baby here is a newborn size. It's 19 and a half inches long and weighs almost seven pounds. And it is done with the most phenomenal silicone. Uh, it's 20 EcoFlex and I think there's some kind of marshmallow blend in it. I mean, this baby is so squishy and so soft and so phenomenal and so floppy. You're going to love this baby girl. Um, I'm going to ask, I'm going to go over everything and show you everything. I'm going to ask $425 shipped. That is a phenomenal price for what I paid for this baby before I spent all the hours painting, double sealing, and everything she's coming with, you guys. I've got like 50 hours into this baby. Um, but after January 1st, I am then going to up $100 on all my babies. She's going into my Etsy store. And I'm, you know, I'm going to be asking a little bit more because I'm making pennies right now on these babies. But I wanted to get well known and, you know, I still am just undercharging and not making much at all for the supplies I use. I use uh, Fuse FX silicone paints, Fuse FX 110 and Part 8 to seal with silicone velvet. Look those products up and you're going to see what I'm talking about. They are expensive. And then on top of it, I have to buy the babies all the brushes, the sponges, you know, all the, the things that you need to do all the painting, the gloves, you have to use, um, uh, what is it, uh, non-latex sponges, non-latex gloves. I mean, there's just so much that go into these babies, and I don't think people really realize that. Um, but anyways, I got to turn this light just a little bit more this way so she gets a little bit more light in her. Um, I, I did sell Phoebe. If you guys go in and check out her video I did just yesterday of her going home, uh, the mother wrote the most amazing thing in there. She is madly in love with that baby, said that she fulfilled her dream of getting a, you know, a expensive high-end baby, that this is a baby she will never get rid of. She loves everything about it. Go read that, you guys. I actually can screenshot it and stick it up here as well, but go read that. Pause it, you know, when I put it in here because it's kind of long. Pause it and read it. But, oh, am I happy that I fulfilled another person's, you know, dream of getting a beautiful baby. She loves Phoebe. I do feel all these babies go to the right, um, you know, buyers. And, you know, sometimes I get discouraged and I want to give up because I'm not asking barely anything. And I'm getting so many people asking, will you take less for her? They don't understand what goes into these babies and how many hours and all of that. Or, you know, somebody will make fun of it because I did freckles. Like the last one, somebody was laughing that I did the freckles. Or they'll say, I would have bought her if she didn't have the freckles. Well, she was a redhead. Redheads have freckles, you know. And I'm an artist. I go with what I feel. And I do, you know, do put lots of love and heart into my babies. And like I said, they're still going to be budget babies. But she is $4.25 shipped. So after the holidays, after January 1st, she will be in my Etsy store. Also still available on here to get. I'm going to have her in different sites. She will then be $5.25, um, actually $5.25 plus 
shipping on that one. So that one's going to be $550 for that baby because she was so much more expensive to get because she's bigger. She's bigger than the one I have. And a phenomenal, you know, that's something just phenomenal because people want these newborn size babies. Just easier to get clothes and everything for her and everything she comes with. Now, let's stop talking and let me show you this gorgeous baby. Oh, my God. I love, um, the reason I like her bald, mine is bald too, is I love that, uh, you know, in the, um, the skull of the baby, how you have that separation. I love that with this baby and the sides like this. So I didn't want to cover that. And I love to do the bluing in that area. So let me get this baby up close. But first I'm going to show you, look at how flappy she is. Now I have my hands behind, but look at how far back her head. I mean, it would just keep going, you guys, if I wasn't holding it. She is so flappy, so amazing, so squishy. Yeah, she is just a really good, good quality silicone. All right, for starters, look at that gorgeous face. She's got rooted. Um, the color of the uh, eyelashes and eyebrows are a auburn, so it is a brownish red. I painted the eyebrows and rooted the eyelashes. Look at those beautiful eyelashes. The wetness in the eyes, the wetness in the nose, in the mouth. She does have an open mouth. She basically takes newborn size pacifiers. I open mine a little deeper. I don't want to do this with this one unless you ask me to do it. I'm going to leave her just the way she is. She is painted inside. She has a tongue, you guys, a tongue. Look at that tongue inside, and I love that her mouth is open. Twin A is a very loved baby, just like the Levi and Sashkia. They're very loved babies, and so that's why I wanted to try to get my hands on a Twin A, and I was so excited that I could get it in a larger size. So she's still everything the same, but there's some uniqueness, you know, uniqueness about the silicone. So there's the face, there's the ears. Look at the bluing that I'm talking about on her head. See where that skull um, has got that separation. Look at that, you guys. Oh my God, look at the bluing. Look at the ears. Phenomenal. Look at the veining on her. Look at that face. That face. Ah, oh, so cute. And then we're going to go and show your body. Look at that beautiful vein. Look at her nipples. Now they come and they just have that little white dot on them. Um, I'll show you when I'm all done with her. I be, you know, I'm going to show you before and after photos at the end, but I'll stick one up with this one. But I have to do the nipples. Look at all the creases. Look at that. Look at that belly button. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at her hands. Look at all the creases. She's got so many rolls and creases on this baby. There's the nail beds on that one. There's her uh, thumb that she's known for. Thumbs up. Yep, she's hitchhiking. <laughs> There's the other hand and all of the creases there. This is what I'm talking about, the uniqueness. My baby doesn't have this. Look at, look at the creases of that fat roll this baby has. Isn't that cute? She's also got the wetness in her little girl parts. Um, there's the leg there. There's her toes. There's the, you know, bottom of it. Look at the, all the detailing I could do on this baby. She had a lot of details to her, so a lot of work with this one. Sealed twice to perfection. She's super, super soft. And she's got the blushing. And in the blushing is where she's got more of her mottling is in the blushing area. That's how I did it. Then I'm going to show you the back of her. There's the back of her and her veining back there. There's the back of her head and the veining. And then, of course, her back, her bum. I'll show you her bum. She's got a cute bum. And that's all done. And then the back of her legs. And if you see any um, spots where you see any white or anything, all that is is little pieces of like the silicone, you know, because they're budget babies. But also some of them I do dry spots, little dry spots on the baby to look like it's got dry skin. Oh my gosh, this baby is stunning, you guys. She's so pretty. Look at her. She's got that mouth open and she's either sleeping heavy with the mouth wide open or she's wanting some food. Yes, she is stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, Like I said, I wanted to do more of a pristine baby with none of those things on her. Look at how her head moves, you guys. Look at she can have her head sit in different ways. That's what I love about her head, too. Look at how you can turn it on your shoulder and hold this baby. It is so realistic. That's what, um, uh, what was her name? Jessica, who bought Phoebe from me, was saying she's so realistic looking. She looks like a real baby. When I paint these babies, I want them to look real. So let me show you all she's coming with. She's going to go home with that headband. She looks very cute with that. Um, she is going to go with... Um, one of these nooks, they are brand new. I pulled one out because I had to redo the video, but they are brand new. I was going to do the purple, but the stuff she's coming home with has got more pink. So we'll do the pink and I'm going to show you, um, how it does go in very easily. Um, but it does stick out just slightly on her. So you could modify it if you wanted to, uh, it sticks a little bit, but see right there, I would leave it like that myself personally. Um, I wouldn't modify it. I would just leave it the way it is. Um, I don't mind that it sticks out just a little bit. It's cute. Um, cause I don't like to modify pacifiers, but I can buy smaller ones. You can get newborn size ones too, um, that are just a little shorter. So you can go ahead and do that. So she'll come with that pacifier 
And then if you give me just one moment, I'm going to get her dressed and show you how she's coming home. I just don't want to make this video too long. So let me show you how she's coming home and then everything she's coming with. Okay, you guys, I'm back. So here is how she's going to go. I decided to do the gray theme with her and the onesie. I love to send the babies this way. It's almost like when a baby is born all cleaned up and they bring you the baby. Most likely, you know, it would have a hat on, not a bow, but I'm going to leave the bow on. But it also comes the gray hat. I will have the gray hat on the baby with the bow and a diaper over the face, as I always do. She's protected with the gray mitts and the little gray socks and this, and she'll be wrapped in a beautiful blanket. Now, let me go over and show you all that, and then she'll have her passy. I don't know if I'll have the passy in, I'll just have it in her box, you know, opening. All right, for starters, she's coming with this beautiful... Now, everything was new, you guys. Let me show you. Okay, her mitts she's wearing were new. Here is the pack. It was a pack of two, so I took the gray ones off, and the socks were new. It had a two-pack. It was a white and a gray. I took that off, so you know that they were new. You guys are getting them new. Um, I'm not always going to be new, doing new stuff. Um, but I just do like those things will always be new and stuff like that. She's coming with this beautiful teddy bear. Look at it's new. Look at it's gray, you guys. Isn't that a sweet looking teddy bear? So fluffy. That is her lovey. Let's stick it on this side with her. Well, actually, we'll stick it on this side and just make sure that we pull it down far enough so that you guys can still see her. But she's going to come with that lovey. Oh, it's kind of messing up your patsy, sweetie. Oh, and her name is Holly, you guys. I've named her. She is Holly uh, for the holidays. I thought Holly would be a perfect name for her. Forgot to tell you guys that in the beginning. Okay, and then she will come with lots of things I like to send with it. Baby wipes, baby powder. Now, my babies do not need to be powdered. They are silky soft. And anybody that purchased a baby through me will tell you they are. Even after a bath, pat them dry. Um, take very good care of their silicone, pat them dry, but I do double seal them, and I've had no problems. Nobody's having any problems that I've sold babies to. Um, I don't bathe my, bathe my babies a lot, but if you do, pat them dry, and if you want to just put some on like in the diaper or just pounce it on, you could do that just for the smell of it, but yeah, they don't, they don't need it, and then baby wash for the full body. That's body wash, right? Oh, wait a minute. Grab the wrong one. This is lotion. I have a body wash that's going to come with it. Sorry, guys. That one was <laughs> a lotion. I'm glad I saw that. It'll come with a body wash. Um, not it, she, Holly, will come with a um, body wash. And then she will come with a teether. We got Elmo here for her, a little teether. She will come with, um, let's see here, a sealed bottle. I sealed this bottle for you and then put the thing back on so you can see it's brand new. It is a sealed milk bottle. I made a fake milk bottle. It does not need to be refrigerated. It'll last you a year or longer. Um, when it starts to separate, just shake it up and you'll see I gave it the color of formula and all that. It's just fake and I sealed it off there. As you see, it's sealed so that she can do a drinking with this, which is awesome and it's mini. So she's getting that. That's coming with her. I've been doing that lately, doing, you know, giving you guys milk bottles. Um, and then the outfits she's coming home in, you guys. First off, she's going to come with this beautiful sleeper. Now, remember, she wears newborn size. So I'm going to send her in this sleeper here. It is um, all white with dinosaurs on it, but done in a girl version with pink trim. It's got the foldovers. It's got the feet in it. It zips up, and it's just so adorable. She's going to come with that. And then a day outfit she's going to come in. This is also brand new, and I love this one. I um, have one myself, and so I wanted to send her in this. Look at this sweater outfit she's coming home in. It is a beautiful pink. It doesn't look like on here. I, I don't know if it's showing the true color, but it's very pink. It's got the blue and the white, all the different, um, you know, design here. And then it's sweater pants. It's like, what do they call that? Knitted? It's like knitted outfit and then it's got the little pants that are open up at the bottom that come with it that is brand new you see and it's newborn she's going to come with that and then she will be wrapped in this beautiful blanket here like the last one she's going to be wrapped in this beautiful soft blanket brand new with the uh, rainbows on it she's going to come in that and wrapped in that and of course i always stick a few little extra cute little things in there little surprises i like to add a little surprises but that's everything that holly is coming home with and you can keep the name. The last lady did keep Phoebe because she looked like a Phoebe. Well, this one is Holly. She's my last Christmas baby I'll be doing for the year. And then the rest will be, you know, New Year baby. And then on from there. She's the last Christmas baby that I did um, for the holidays. So her name is Holly. 
and uh, she's looking for a good mommy or daddy. If you're interested, here is my email. Please contact me. Remember, she's 425 shipped right now in the USA. Um, outside of that, you'd have to pay the shipping if it was Canada. I don't ship anywhere else, maybe Canada, and that would be it. But right now, my babies, I want to ship them in the United States. So it's 425 shipped. That's including the shipping. Contact me, send me an email, because as of January 1st, she's going up to 525 plus shipping. So it'll be $550 for her, and that will be then in my Etsy store. So grab a hold of this Twin A full body silicone done in pristine painting. Uh, no flaws to this baby. Uh, she's just beautiful. She's a beautiful, I forgot to say, say the skin tone. It's a peaches and cream. Uh, she's just gorgeous. And I'll get nice photographs at the end of before and after and then photographs of her. I like to do that. And like I said, just contact me if you're interested in her. I do put her up on different sites. I do have a feeling this one's going to go quick because I've had people ask for a twin A. And the fact that she's newborn size. Because the, the one I have, like I said, is wears preemie. Uh, hard to get clothes for. Not hard, but it has to wear preemie clothes. This one is a good size, heavy baby, newborn size, just phenomenal. So I do believe she's going to go quick. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying all of my babies and um, all the ones that I'm painting for sale. I hope that I have a wonderful year next year. I had a great year this year starting out. I've only been doing this uh, for about eight months, but I've been doing silicone painting for over two years. Uh, but doing it as a job was only about eight or nine months ago. Um, so I'm really hoping I'm getting well known by people. They're wanting to send their babies in January. I'm going to be painting babies, um, other people's babies that they own. If you have a baby you want to paint it, send it to me. Um, you know, get a hold of me. I'll let you know on the prices and all that. But yeah, I hope 2024, I think it's going to be a big year for me for these cells. And people are just seeing how phenomenal these babies are. Not to toot my own horn, but I take pride. I put my whole heart and soul into my paintings. And I'm very, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. I want these babies perfected. Yes, there's flaws. Every baby's going to have flaws. I mean, a little bit of dry skin look there, you know, or a little bit of pieces of silicone here and there, you know, of when you seal it and stuff like that. I mean, they're not perfected, perfected, but you know what I mean? It's things that you can't see unless you're right on top of it. You know what I mean? I am just a perfectionist. I want my babies to go home beautiful. I want them sealed perfectly. And I want to offer it at an affordable cost. Even when I go up in the price, that's still an affordable cost. I mean, you look at Etsy right now, these babies are the same babies that I'm buying, painting, you know, fully painting, double sealing and selling with a huge box opening. They're buying them. And all you have to do, I'll stick a few of them up right now and show you. They're just buying them with factory paint. They are rooting a little bit of eyelashes, maybe sending it with two outfits and they're asking eight to a thousand, you guys, and they're not even painted babies. That's just odd to me. Mine are fully painted and the most I'm going to be is between five and six hundred. Maybe. Well, yeah, I'm going to say no more than six fifty if it's a fully rooted, like a lot of hair and stuff like that on it. Um, then it would be like six fifty. That'll be the most expensive, but it'll always come with a box opening, really big box opening. It's double sealed. You guys, I want to, you know, be a budget baby seller and yeah, just excited for the new year to come up. And I hope you guys are enjoying these babies that you've got so far. And if you want Holly, let me know. Everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Let's pop that out just so you can see that cute open mouth. She's hungry. Yeah, she wants some food. I got to get this out of the way. Her teddy bear can't see your face, little girl. There you go. All right, everybody take care. Oh, I want it to end nice where you can see her mouth. Hopefully you can. Everybody take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.